Hi, guy. <laughs> Catherine. Welcome. Linda. So I don't know how your day has been and uh, I don't know if you're in a good place or not today. So let's just rest for a moment. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we'll just take a few moments to uh, review the day prayerfully. As you review the day, think on those things where you felt love, joy, gratitude, where you felt God was close to you and you were aware of God's presence or goodness. And as you review the day, also think about those things that uh, troubled you, where you were drained, where you felt that you'd let people down or they let you down or something like that. This isn't the time when we need to justify our behaviour, just to acknowledge it and note it. As you reflect on those things, there'll be one or two things, I guess, that will particularly come to the surface. And I invite you just to bring those to God now. As we reflect on the day for the love shared we are grateful for provision and nurture we are grateful for kindness given we are grateful for the sorrow we've caused we pray for forgiveness for injustices ignored we pray for forgiveness for the encounters with God today and stranger and friend, we bid you welcome. For the encounters missed today, we know that you will always see us, even when we don't see you. For tomorrow, may we see you in ways expected and unexpected. things together in the confession. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world,
love we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. We retell Psalm 139 again. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed and chill, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there, your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not light to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. This is the last time we're having the Zechariah reading and it changes uh, next week. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The Gospel Canticle. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared 
in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. We come now to our time of uh, intercessory prayer. Let's pray. Loving God, as we uh, come together this evening, though we are physically apart, we are united in you. We give you thanks for the fellowship that we find in you and the life that we have known in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those tonight who are working through the night, for those that will not sleep well tonight because they're worried, they're concerned. We pray for all those who are overwhelmed. There are so many things that are pressing in on so many people. We pray for those who are struggling to make ends meet, not sure if they can run their business, not sure if they've got a job, not sure of any of those things. And then we've got those who are going to work and they're frightened because they haven't got the, the equipment that they need. They feel vulnerable. They're at risk. We pray for uh, all the medical staff who are struggling to know if they've got enough PPE. We pray for all those who are working so hard to keep the hospitals and medical centres on the streets clean. We give thanks for all those involved in transit and transport and making, making the, the, the country still run. We pray for them and their protection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to uphold our leaders our leaders in government, our leaders in business, our leaders in civil society, our leaders in the church, our leaders in other faith communities. We pray for them, that they would use uh, the positions they have and the platforms that they have and to work together for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are on our hearts tonight. Maybe those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Those who are worried about loved ones. We pray for those who are suicidal. We pray for those who have died this night, today rather. We pray for those who mourn that they may know and experience your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of silence, let's bring before God all those on our hearts tonight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Courage comes from the heart, and we are always welcomed by God, the cry of all being. We bear witness to our faith, knowing that we are called to live lives of courage, love and reconciliation. In the ordinary and extraordinary moments of each day, we bear witness too to our failures and our complicity in the fractures of our world. May we be courageous today. May we learn today. May we love today. Amen. The Collect. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. 
come now to the Lord's Prayer. And again, I invite you to say that with me using the tradition, the, the, the version and the language that's closest to your heart. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So, um, just before I, um, we say the blessing, just to say that uh, there won't be morning prayer or compline uh, tomorrow or Sunday, but there will be an 11 o'clock Sunday service, but then back to morning prayer and compline on Monday to Friday of next week. Thank you so much uh, for joining with me in these times of prayer. I hope and pray that they have been beneficial to you. May God bless us, that in us may we, may we find love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Good night everybody, sleep really, really well and I'll see you soon. Take care, God bless.